Welcome to your BioCast. I'm Mrs. Jaeger and I'll be your guide. As always, take detailed notes and don't forget to bring them to class the next day. Take some time right now to get your binder together, a pen, and get ready to learn more about biology. Welcome to your very first BioCast. This is session one, introduction to a vodcast. So um, the, the purpose of this is to teach you exactly what this new form of technology is and how we'll be using it in the classroom. So there we are, session one. So what is a vodcast? Um, vodcast, the word, is short for video podcast. It's basically an on-demand video clip that you'll be able to access on the internet from our classroom website. They'll also be posted on YouTube and you can um, request to be linked to my YouTube account. Um, my YouTube account is Jaeger Teach. I'll show you that at the end of the vodcast. We'll kind of go over how to get to that information. So why am I using this crazy new form of technology in the classroom? Um, the reason why is I want to give us more time to do projects and labs in class. Um, typically spending uh, you know, an entire class or even 20 minutes of a class lecturing, that's time that we could be doing um, hands-on labs. So that's, that's my goal for that. Also, you'll be able to do your homework anywhere. On your phone, um, you can do it at home. Um, you won't have to necessarily lug books around or anything like that. Really, your homework will be to watch the podcast, take notes, and bring those to class with you. Um, one thing I do every year is I survey my students to see what their favorite forms of learning are, whether it be lectures, labs, um, projects, things like that. And in general, students tend to say that lecturing was the least, most useful form. So I'm hoping that by videotaping the lectures, um, you can rewind them, watch them again, watch them once, watch them twice, whatever you want to do. I think you might be more excited about lectures, hopefully. That's my goal. Um, also, I'm hoping to teach you technology as well as content. You will be making your own podcast by the end of the school year. We'll also learn about podcasts and we'll be using those. Podcasts are basically just like this, minus the video. Okay, all you're going to need to do to find these videos is to go to our classroom website. Your classroom website is posted on the right side of the classroom wall. Um, it's also right here on the slide. So if you want to write that down now, it's sites.google.com forward slash site forward slash Jaeger Biology forward slash. Don't forget that last forward slash. So you want to watch them and take notes, and you can use your notes on your quiz. You will ace your quizzes if you watch these and take good notes. So what if you don't have a computer at home, or maybe a computer's acting funny, or internet's not working so well? I have a solution for that. Every day that your ViCast is assigned, I will show that video at the end of the school day. So let's say on Monday you get assigned um, to watch a vodcast about genetics. Okay, That day, that Monday after school, you show up in room 206 and I'm going to play the video for the class. You can also watch these videos in academic assistance if I'm not available that day. If you are especially tech savvy, you feel like you're really good with technology, um, you can view these on your smartphone. You can download them to view later. Um, whether that be on a USB drive or directly to your phone. I'm also excited about the idea of putting these on iTunes, so if you think that's something that would be useful, um, please come and talk to me. I'm definitely open to figuring out how to put these on iTunes uh, so that you can find them there. And I'm also excited to get any suggestions that you may have. This is brand new for me. This is my first year doing this. And um, this may be really new for you, too. So if anything comes up, you have questions, suggestions, please feel free to come and talk to me. If there's a topic you're not understanding, I would absolutely be willing to do a quick explanation and post that to our website so you can view that later. Um, for this to work, you have to watch the videos and I have to keep making them and make them as interesting as possible. So as a community, we really need to embrace this technology and use it. And um, I hope that you are as excited about it as I am. 
um, that's it for this session. I will see you for the next um, biocast, biocast number two, which will be over the scientific method. Have a great day and bring those notes to class.